Hey everyone, it's Sky here today and I'm going to be answering some of your questions. Since my first tutorial video got just so much attention, there was a lot of questions that I didn't get around to answering and I didn't really feel like sitting and sifting through 1.5 thousand comments. So <laughs> I'm gonna read out some of them today and answer them on camera to hopefully stop people from asking the same questions over and over again. All right, so let's get started. This first one is from Icefall Wind Clan Warrior. Okay. Okay, I think I know the answer to this, but was this hard to make? I mean, well, it's a fursuit head. It must have been hard, but it seems so easy. Okay. Okay, Icefall. I'm gonna let you in on a tiny little secret. Fursuit making is easy. It's really easy. As long as you're not lazy and you do your research and you buy the proper materials and you don't skimp out on sewing extra seams or whatever, then you will have something that's actually pretty good quality. As long as you put that effort in, you're gonna get something equally as good out. So the next one is from Glitch the Nerd, and they ask, is Sky your real name? Or, no, Sky is not my real name. My real name is Gabby, if you, you really need to know. But most people in the furry fan call me Sky, obviously. All right. Do you have any suggestions to putting the fur on the head without sewing? Don't. Next question. I might be having a brain fart. The tape doesn't tear the foam apart when you take it off. Um, it can sometimes. It depends on what kind of tape you're using. So if you're using industrial strength duct tape, that might take some of it off. It's really picky like around the tips of the ears and stuff like that, but you shouldn't really have that much of an issue as long as you're careful. I'm trying to make my own partial suit and I'm wondering how I would change things for an otter. My sona has round small ears and whiskers. How would I make that? Also, how would I make the hair? It's spiked up. This tutorial was awesome, yo. Thank you, Crystal. Well, it kind of depends on what character you're going for. As you said, it was an otter. Um, generally what I like to do is get your reference sheet and blow it up to size so it's like if I had the paper, the muzzle would be like here. So it's the actual size that you want it on the suit. Cut it out, trace it onto foam, layer it up, and then stick that block onto the head and just carve around it until you kind of get it nice and smooth to the shape that you want. Um, in terms of whiskers, Sparky Can Do actually has a really awesome tutorial. I don't know how to do video implements, but people do this, so I'm just gonna pretend that there is a video there. It's great. Um, in terms of spiky hair, it's not that difficult. You just gotta carve it out of foam, like you would like the normal head. So you can carve like a triangle piece out of foam and just stick it, stick it on the head. Okay. Is it possible to make a fursuit without eyes? If so, how do I see out of it? I'm, I'm not too sure what you'd want a character without eyes for, but I mean, you can do neck vision if you want, if you have a long neck. People put like meshes here, or you can make it so you can see out of the mouth. I don't know why you would want to not have a character with eyes, but you know, you do you, fam. You do you. Next is from Kimberly Gash. Hi, Sky. Um, am I able to use sandpaper to smooth the foam, or do I have to use scissors? Up to you. I use scissors to carve all my foam down, but I know a lot, some other makers use fine grain sandpaper to kind of get that nice finish. Um, but it's honestly up to you. Fur hides most of the like imperfections on the head, so you'll be fine either way. Okay. Hey Sky, just wondering how old you are. I am 18 years old. Hey, where can I find out how big the jaw and things like that are? Thanks so much for the tutorial. It's honestly all through trial and error. It depends on how big the base is and what your character's like. It's all up to you. As long as it kind of all looks cohesive and smooth, you don't really have that much to worry about. What app I need for make a fursona? What? Where do you get the fur from? I get my fur from fabric.com. I generally recommend getting the luxury shag variety as it's pretty good for most parts. Some people will say it's not the best, but that's because it mats really easily, but generally all fur mats pretty easily. But the other furs you can get is seal, beaver, fox, yeti. The list goes on, just make sure it's high quality. And you can tell it's high quality by feeling the backing of the fur. If it's thick, then generally you're pretty good. Can you man me one, a kid, sis, ten, cat face, me name is Kiara. 
Grandma. How does someone wash this type of fursuit head? Well, actually, I'm going to do a video on this in the future. I'm actually currently making my own brand of fursuit shampoo. However, once I've got that down, I will put out a video and have a tutorial for you all on how I wash my suit heads. So, look forward to that. How long have you been making fursuits for? Technically since 2014, but the fursuits I was making then are not the best. <laughs> they were made of toy fur and nothing was sewn together and the eyes were weird and the structure was weird and the building was weird. So I generally say 2015 as that's when I kind of started to get a clue about what I was doing. All right. This one comes from Blueberry Beagle and they say, why would you want to sew the fur? I don't understand the point of it. I thought you'd do the tape thing, cut the pieces out with the tape and glue it on. When and why do you need to sew? As I mentioned before in my previous question, just glued fur doesn't look very good. You can always see the seams and you want this clean, smooth finish where you can't see where you've sewn. So, I mean, you can glue it if you really want, but don't come crying to me if it doesn't look the best that it could. Are you using real fur? Hope not. Ah yes, because this, this totally looks like real fur. Mmm. Yep, this comes from a rare and elusive green wolf. Uh, I hunted it myself. No, I don't use wolf fur. I'm not a monster. Is it possible to make a fur suit without foam? Yes, it is. You use resin, which you can buy online or you can cast it yourself, but it's usually pretty expensive to learn and to buy, so that's why I use foam. Alright. Can you do a tutorial on how to make an angel dragon? I mean, you could just use the skills that I taught in the first video and apply it to your own character, but I might do a tutorial on how to make more thicker muzzled characters as the process is a little different. So, I don't know. I'll think about it. Uh, Mothers says the furry nation is inappropriate. Was she watching Jaden animations on her computer? Yes, I watch. You what? like Jaden animation? Were you watching Jaden no, animation? How can you see in this? Through the eyes. Do you sell them? Yes. A link to all my social medias can be found in the description if you want to commission me in the future, but I won't be open for a little bit because I want to get my queue down to something a little bit more reasonable and get my new prices in. So I'll be making a lot of noise when I do. I might make a video about it. I'm not sure. But yeah, so look forward to that, I guess. All right, that's all the questions I have time for today. If you guys have any other questions about me or my fursuits or whatever you want to know, leave them down down in the comments below and I might make another Q&A in the future if this one wasn't too cringy and I'll see you next time. Finger guns.